Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and I do have a bit of a headache, so I'm going to do this video very quick. I'm going to be doing a movie review to the 2007 remake of Halloween. This movie was released on AMC not too long ago, and this is... The first half was pretty lame. But I did like the second half. The second half was horrifying. But the kills in this movie are really brutal. I gotta say, this is a pretty messed up horror movie. There's a lot of messed up elements of this movie. And I really liked that they showed Michael Myers as a kid. Even though they already did that in the original 1978 movie. But this one was one hell of a great movie. It was a, I thought, I consider this a guilty pleasure. It's a really, it's... It's not one of Rob Zombie's best work. It's probably one of his weakest ones. But this is still a really underrated movie. that A really overlooked movie. That deserves some credit. It's not the greatest movie in the world. It's I actually think it's really good. But it's not the greatest. The, the, la the, second, half, the second half was great. But the first half was just... Eh. The first half was just not very good. But this movie, I only like the second half of this movie, but I will get this movie on DVD for my collection. Even though this movie is not the greatest movie ever. It's nowhere near as good as the original 1978 movie, and it's nowhere near as good as Halloween H2O, and it's nowhere near as good as Halloween 2018, and it's not as good as Home Halloween 2 and 4. The Return of Michael Myers. But it's definitely better than Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That one was not very good either, but... This one is the... This one feels self-aware at some point, but... This movie just had a lot of problems. So yeah, I'm gonna give the Rob Zombie's version of Halloween a 5 out of 10. And I'm gonna give it a D+. Plus. Is not the greatest movie in the world, but I still considered it a guilty pleasure. This movie is bad, but it's not the not the worst movie in the world. And I will probably watch. Call me crazy. I'm actually planning on getting the sequel to the 2009 sequel, Halloween 2, directed by Rob Zombie. Even though I heard that one's even worse than this one. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna give this movie a five out of ten, and the and the. D plus or D minus whatever. So yeah, that is it for my review of the 2007 remake of Halloween. And I only recommend this if you're a true if you're a fan of the Halloween franchise. There, the kills are great. The kill, but one the one thing that it, they, that it, that they get right is the kills. So yeah. I, I, the first half was okay, but the second half was great. One of the best kill scenes in movies. And Malcolm McDowell was pretty decent as Samuel, Dr. Sam Loomis. I don't think he's as good as Donald Pleasance, but he still is a great... A great if, I wouldn't imagine any other person playing Loomis than Malcolm McDowell and Donald Pleasance. So yeah, that is it for my review to the Halloween Rob Zombie remake from 2007, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye everybody, adios.